Welcome students. Today we're going to be talking about genetic technology. I'm very excited to go over this with you. This is my favorite topic personally because that's where we're headed to in the future. This is what it's going to be about. Um, what I, I put a couple of pictures so you can get an idea of the technology we have. Pretty soon uh, you're going to go to the doctor and instead of regular medicine they're going to give you a pill that has DNA in it. So that's the technology we're going to talk about. It's called gene therapy. Here uh, you're going to find out all the technology we have to actually we can go in there and possibly surgically um, adjust those mutations we were talking about, those harmful mutations. Uh, we can go back and then fix that uh, base or several bases that cause those um, faulty amino acids that mess up the shape and the function and cause disease. Other things uh, we're going to talk about later, stem cells and uh, genetic uh, engineering where we can go in there and add genes from one organism that we like to another and give that new organism uh, qualities that it never had before and that's exciting technology. I'm going to start first with the Human Genome Project. Something you need to know um, that is going to revolutionize medicine and a lot of things, a lot of treatments and how we deal with disease. And the Human Genome Project uh, was this massive event that a lot of companies um, took forth uh, and as a competition to figure out how we can map um, the human genome. In other words, all the chromosomes, all the DNA was read out from every chromosome. All the A's, T's, G's, and C's from chromosome 1 all the way to the 23rd. And it happened. They did it. And we now can see, for example, let's pretend this is chromosome 1. If you look here, uh, we can figure out all the A's and T's and G's and C's, all the millions or billions of base pairs that there are. And we can also find areas where diseases are. For example, maybe diabetes is here in chromosome 1 as an example. And then maybe over here we figure out where um, you know, all the, all the genes, all the traits are located. For example, eye color can be here. And they actually found all that out. And you know, where other diseases are as well. Why is that important? Well, we can then go here and look at the DNA sequence of a normal uh, person and what, what the normal protein should look like. And here, for an example, is a substitution. And then that's a uh, harmful mutation. Well, now that we know what the healthy one is and we can compare with one that's unhealthy and we can say, oh, okay, this is what the problem is. It should be a T or sorry, it should be an A instead of a T. And now we can go then and fix it and offer medications where we can give people these genes that have the corrected version. So this is exciting technology. I'm going to show you a video that gives you a little bit more information on the hum Human Genome Project and what it does for us. Ah, life. A sunny day, a simple friend, and a complex biological story. The Human Genome Project is a way of exploring our molecular cells. Almost all of our cells, the muscle cells that let us smile, the brain cells that perceive the humor in things, the cells of our eyes that take it all in, contain a complete set of all our genes, the genome. If we could journey inside ourselves into a cell, we would see 23 pairs of chromosomes packed into a nucleus. Each chromosome contains a long coil of DNA. If all the chromosomes were unwound, the DNA in just one of our cells would stretch six feet long. The DNA double helix contains four kinds of building blocks. An A always pairs with a T, a C with a G. DNA contains information to make every part of our bodies with its four-letter language. Each of our thousands of genes codes for a specific part. RNA polymerase copies the information in a gene into a messenger molecule, messenger RNA. The building blocks of messenger RNA and DNA are called bases. The bases on one strand of the DNA specify the order of bases on the new strand of messenger RNA. The DNA always stays inside the nucleus, 
but messenger RNA travels out into the cytoplasm. There, a protein-making machine called a ribosome can read messenger RNA to make a particular protein. Every three bases of the messenger RNA molecule codes for an amino acid. Proteins are made of amino acids. tRNA molecules help translate the language of DNA and RNA into the language of proteins. tRNA molecules bring the right amino acids that the ribosome links together to make a protein. Proteins are the laborers. Some form structures like tendons and hair. Others perceive light, scents and flavors, control chemical reactions, and carry messages between cells. To understand our molecular cells, scientists have read the three billion letters making up the DNA in the human genome. Different sets of genes interacting with complex environmental factors influence things like our looks, personalities, and risks for diseases like cancer and heart disease. A growing understanding of our genes and all they do will help us understand the complexity and the wonder of life. A simple friendship, a sunny day, a life.